as a child, I dreamt of becoming a scientist. But I had dyslexia. No matter how much I worked, I fail. And I know about failing, okay? I've been failing half of my life. And I failed because of my mistakes. I had so many mistakes in reading and writing and I wanted so bad to get rid of these mistakes. I, I did everything that I could. I, I, I learned the books by heart. I learned every single rule and every single exception from the Spanish orthography. And at the end, I became a scientist. And <laughs> my topic, guess what? Dyslexia. <laughs> yes. And in eight years of research, the three most remarkable discoveries are mistakes. Really. So let's go. First discovery. The mistakes that people with dyslexia make I analyzed thousands of them, okay? Are, seriously, are, no, are not random, okay? There are patterns on the mistakes that people with dyslexia make, reading and writing mistakes. This give us knowledge about dyslexia that we didn't have before. This means that these mistakes are powerful and that are valuable. The second discovery. If we use these linguistic patterns that we found in these mistakes in combination with computer games and artificial intelligence, we actually can detect dyslexia. We made an experiment with 10,000 people and we reached 90% accuracy in dyslexia detection within 15 minutes. And we actually feel a pattern with it. Second. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and the third discovery. Actually, if we put these linguistic patterns, all right, that we found in the mistakes, we integrate them into computer games, and we actually made 40,000 40, computer uh, exercises and integrated in a computer game, these are helpful to overcome dyslexia. We made, we conducted a randomized control trial and found that children, after playing these games for eight weeks, significantly improve the reading and writing, okay? So, and it's about mistakes, right? So, with these results, I found that it's dyslexia to change this dyslexia globally, worldwide. And we integrated all these research, research results in our platform called Detective. So every child in the world can have access to a screening and treatment by play. Up to now, we have reached with Detective 130,000 children in 55 countries in these five continents. So, okay. <laughs> yeah, I know it's, it's huge, right? Okay. <laughs> so, this, these children, if they work, they won't fail. And they will be able to dream. As we say in Change Dyslexia, Words are, no, sorry, dreams, uh, you know, I have it, this thing, you know, so, <laughs> super useful for this, so, as we say in Change Dyslexia, dreams are not words to be read, but to become true. When I was a child, I really, really, really have to tell you, I hated my mistakes. Now, I tell all the children to embrace their mistakes because they have the key to overcome dyslexia. When I find, I mean, I find it incredible that at the end we found the solution for the mistakes in the mistakes. And, and what I find much, much more incredible is that after so many years of search, of searching for a solution, at the end the solution for dyslexia was inside the people with dyslexia. <laughs>